If Superman appears in the Black Adam movie, we think it would be a big mistake. So in this video, we will talk about why we think that's the case and hopefully persuade you to come to the same conclusion. So stay tuned to hear all about it. First up, Superman appearing in Black Adam would be a big mistake because it would take away from the character's development. The Man of Steel is one of the most iconic superheroes ever created, and his story is one of hope, justice, and truth. Superman has always been a symbol of what is right in the world, and appearing in a movie with a villain like Black Adam would only muddy that image. While it is true that Superman has faced evil villains before, Black Adam is different. He is a ruthless dictator who has no problem killing innocent people. He is also incredibly powerful, and it is doubtful that even Superman could defeat him in a fair fight. If Superman were to appear in Black Adam's movie, it would only be to get beaten down and captured by the villain. This would be a huge mistake, as it would take away from Superman's development as a character. He is supposed to be a symbol of hope, and appearing in a movie with such a dark and violent character would only undermine that. It would also send the wrong message to kids who look up to Superman as a hero. So while it might be tempting to have Superman appear in Black Adam's movie, it would be a big mistake. It would take away from the character's development and send the wrong message to kids. So let's hope that Superman stays far away from Black Adam's movie. Meanwhile, it would also be a mistake because it would further confuse audiences about the DC movie universe. Superman appearing in Black Adam would be a big mistake not just because it would confuse audiences about the DC movie universe. Still, also, it would take away from Black Adam's story. Black Adam is one of the most interesting and complex characters in the DC universe. His story deserves to be told on its own. Superman appearing in his movie would only serve to take away from that. Additionally, Superman is such an iconic character that his presence would overshadow Black Adam. It would be a mistake to try and fit him into a movie that isn't about him. So while it might be tempting to have Superman appear in Black Adam, it would ultimately be a mistake. It would take away from Black Adam's story and only confuse audiences even more about the DC movie universe. Finally, it would be a mistake because it would delay the release of Black Adam. The release of Black Adam has been delayed for years and fans are getting impatient. One way to quell that impatience would be to finally give them what they want, Superman appearing in the movie. However, that would be a mistake. While Superman appearing in Black Adam would be a huge coup and certainly get people talking, it would ultimately delay the movie's release even further. Black Adam is already facing competition from other superhero movies. It could lose its spot in the lineup if it gets pushed back again. All in all, Superman appearing in Black Adam would be a big mistake. It would take away from the character's development and confuse audiences about the DC movie universe. It would delay the release of Black Adam. Let's hope that Superman Superman stays far away from Black Adam's movie. Next, in other related news, Dwayne Johnson announces Black Adam Global Tour. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is finally set to make his live action superhero debut later this year in Black Adam, an entry in the DC universe that has been developing for over a decade. With its debut fast approaching, there's been a lot of buzz surrounding Johnson taking on the title role in this upcoming Star Wars spin off. The film's premiere is just over a month away. It appears that he and his castmates will be partying like rock stars. On Tuesday night, John Johnson took to Twitter to reveal that Black Adam will be touring the world from October 3rd to October 20th, making stops in Mexico City, New York City, Toronto, Atlanta, Miami, London, Madrid, and Los Angeles. After 5,000 years of imprisonment, Black Adam is unleashed into the modern world. His brutish tactics and sense of justice quickly catch the attention of the Justice Society of America. The JSA tries to stop his rampage and teaches him to be a hero instead of a villain. Eventually, they must team up to stop an even more powerful force than Adam himself. John Cullet Sarah, director of Jungle Cruise, is also directing Black Adam. I am fully committed to Black Adam and expanding the Black Adam universe and the DC universe. Johnson said when asked by comicbook.com if he sees himself sticking with this role for years to come during a recent Q&A session with the press. I've always been an optimist, so all of us up here, all universes exist in our heads. We will all work hard to ensure we are honoring the mythology and giving fans what they want. I hear the fans and pick up on everything they're saying. It doesn't get by me or any of the other guys, producer Hiram Garcia, producer Bo Flynn, director John Colitzera. This is hopefully just the beginning of a long storytelling road that Black Adam is anchoring now. Let's discuss why Josh Whedon's Justice League shouldn't be DCEU canon. Among the DCEU's many films that met with negative reception from critics and audiences are 2016's Suicide Squad, 2018's Aquaman, and 2020's Wonder Woman 1984. However, it is Josh Whedon's Justice League film that has caused the most significant divide among fans of DC. Many people compare it unfavorably to Marvel Studios' The Avengers film. The DCEU appears to have taken the Marvel Cinematic Universe's approach by establishing several simultaneous stories across the years. Still, it rushed into a big crossover event without establishing meaningful character connections or laying out how they would act. Zack Snyder's Justice League took the time to create strong foundations for each character. This included developing their backstory and culture, leaving room for these stories to be revisited in future installments of the DCEU. The future of the DCEU is still in question, though. If 
Warner Media's merger with Discovery Inc. goes through as planned, and if Snyder's version becomes considered canonical rather than Whedon's, that would be the case. Following The Flash's 2022 incorporation into Discovery Inc., Warner Media may be ready to make substantial changes to the DCEU. It's uncertain what the events of Justice League and Black Adam mean for the future of the DCEU after 2021. Next up is Black Adam's DCEU theme song, which has been officially released. Warner Brothers has just released the official theme for the upcoming DCEU movie Black Adam. For those who are unfamiliar, the DCEU, or DC Extended Universe, is a franchise adapted from DC Comics that provides an interconnected universe, including characters from Justice League such as Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman. In addition, other well-known heroes such as Shazam, Suicide Squad, and Birds of Prey also play part in this universe in various capacities, along with Blue Beetle and Black Adam, who will be introduced soon. In theaters on October 21, Black Adam, or Dwayne Johnson, will make his DCEU debut in The Shallows and Jungle Cruise director John Colazzaro's film. The story will follow the title Antihero, a former enslaved person endowed with godlike abilities who has been imprisoned for thousands of years. Shazam initially introduced the character as a villain in the comics. The Justice Society of America is made up of Hawkman, Aldous Hodge, Dr. Fate, Pierce Brosnan, and Adam Smasher, Noah Centineo, among others, will take in Black Adam as he falls into their world. They help him try to become a hero again as a new enemy appears. Water Tower Music debuted the official theme for Black Adam by composer Lauren Balfe this week. With a background and scoring Prime Video's The Wheel of Time, Black Widow, and the Lego Batman movie, among others. Balfe is creating a sound for the character that strays from Junkie XL's past DCEU project scores, which were focused on hard rock. The score in this still has a drum beat that propels it forward, but the arrangement is more orchestral. It uses a choir of voices that gives it an almost gothic feeling and drives the energy up. And lastly, how Black Adam is expected to change the DCEU. The future of the DCEU is uncertain as its last feature film, The Suicide Squad, was released over half a year ago in August 2021. Though The Batman, which did well, came out this past March, it's not technically part of the DCEU. The future of the DC franchise is uncertain, with multiple highly anticipated sequels being delayed and one bad girl project entirely scrapped. With The Flash's Ezra Miller in hot water due to recent misbehavior, the franchise needs a new plan to move forward. The success of Black Adam will likely determine whether or not a new era for the company is ushered in. This theme release is likely to provide the way that Black Adam will achieve this. It's possible that the score snippet evokes a lot about the film's themes, implying that it retains the gravity of films from the DCEU's Snyderverse era but evolves into a more classically cinematic tone. While it still appears that DC is attempting to compete with Marvel, rejecting their sardonic sense of humor in favor of more serious tones and themes has given them license to play in new thematic areas and push themselves as far as they can expand their universe in every direction. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below telling us what you think about this video. We'll see you at the next one. We appreciate you watching and hope to see you then.